Yeah, that's sick. See if I can fucking even do it. So how's it going? Today, I'm going to go through some of your suggested things to learn. Now, I put up a post the other day saying, actually, it was yesterday, and that's crazy because I have 201 comments. I'm going to go through just a few, and I'm just going to keep going back to this list. Thank you so much for submitting those. All right, somebody's suggesting Between the Bear to Me song, Alaska, from the album Alaska, and that's basically the intro riff, so let's check it out. All right. I think we could probably find a tab of that. This is actually just mostly how I learn stuff. I'll just like find a tab that's half decent online and I'll go with it. I have no idea if this is good. They're in C sharp standard, so I have to transpose my head a little bit. I know the song pretty well. I used to listen to this band quite a bit, but I haven't heard it for quite a while. Okay, so it's a bit of a weird kind of feel. I'm playing with no rhythmic notation, I'm sort of just earing it out. That's not so hard. That's halfway through, so. Remember, I'm transposing this in my head. It's a triplet ending uh, for the sweep. See if that last part is right. Sounds right. Uh, we'll go up to the 20th fret, or in my case, the 17th. I think some of the fingering in this is a little bit wrong, maybe, because the tab shows this, and it really would be there. But if I'm already up here, all right, let's play it slow. Okay, so it's... Let's play up the speed and see if it sounds good. I think we got it. It's fast. Thank you so much for the suggestion, James a Ship. That was a great one. We've got somebody suggesting the song Barren and Breathless Macrocosm by Shadow of Intent. I actually already did that one, uh, so you can see it in my earlier videos. Somebody suggesting Infinite Annihilator. I don't think any many of those sweeps are very playable <laughs> for real people. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, Nevermore, Godless Endeavor. Let's check that one out. I listened to this album so much when I was younger. Holy shit. Uh, 
Yeah, that's sick. Okay, well, let's just learn that part. Let's see if I can fucking even do it. I'm just going to pick up some random tab here, see if it sounds good. Oh, so it's using open strings. Everything's one half step down. I'll learn it in standard tuning. <laughs> Oh, he's doing fives. Or maybe not. Am I not going to sound right because I'm not in the right tuning? I mean, that sounds kind of right. Yeah, he's got more picking in it. I'm doing more hammer runs. Mm, he's doing it way cleaner than me. I'm not playing the right temp or the right tuning, but uh, and I was sort of just missing the open string because it does sound like it's sort of got that open string in there. But uh, but I feel like I got the gist of it. But man, it's like pretty crazy. Let's keep going. I feel like with Jeff Loomis, you only ever just get the gist of it. So he descends a uh, chromatically. <laughs> Playing a lot looser than him. Killer suggestion. Thank you so much to Amateur Superfan for that suggestion. More Jeff Loomis, please. Racer X, Gone Too Far, opening riff. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Let's check it out. Gone Too Far by Racer X. Opening riff. Oh man, that's amazing. It's instantly so cool. Let's find just a whatever tab. No offense to people who put together tabs. You just hit good ones and bad ones. This one's five star or four star or whatever it is. So uh, half step down again. So whatever. <laughs> Let's just get the gist of it. I'll play in standard. Did you do a high up uh, thing there? What's that? I think it's an open string there. He rings all those notes out. There you go. And then he's doing a thing after that. Uh, what the hell is it? It's like a triple thing? Ah, oh, cool. Okay, where's the best? Um, sounds wrong. I mean, it sounds cool, but... It almost sounds like he ends on the seven. If you're wondering why mine doesn't sound as good, it's because he is much better than I am. Mine sounds just okay. Sweet. Awesome suggestion. Thank you for the suggestion, my dude, Bensi. I'll do one more. Um, synaptic plasticity intro riffs. I've got a cover of that, I think, on my YouTube, or my uh, Instagram, I believe. Trivium Beyond Oblivion. I'll check it out. And this is from my dude, Fox. Just the intro riff, he says. So let's see what it sounds like.
Okay. What's that riff? Uh, they're definitely playing in a lower tuning beyond Oblivion guitar tab. And let's just see what tuning they're in or what they're what tuning they're probably in. B flat. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Well, I'll learn it in standard and we'll see how it sounds. Ah, I see. That's what I was missing. It's kind of tricky, actually. Some alternate picking going on. Okay, well, uh, we can hear what it sounds like in the song. It'll sound a little bit more brutal and low. That's not easy, dude. That's a cool riff. I like it. Thank you so much to uh, my dude, Fox, for that awesome suggestion. And not to mention the awesome people that are now supporting me through the YouTube membership program. If you want to know more, hit join below the video itself. And please feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel. I've got plenty of other things to fill your time, uh, guitar playing related, mostly. Uh, that's pretty much it, actually. Just me playing guitar. So until next time, see you later.